The Philippine National Police names Daraga Mayor Carl Wynn Baldo as the alleged mastermind in the killing of Acobicol Representative Rodel Batocabe. PNP Chief Director General Oscar Albayalde cites witnesses claiming Baldo, quote, employed a private armed group to plot the assassination of Batocabe last December 22. Mayor Baldo allegedly offered 5 million for the hit job on Batocabe sometime in September 2018 and paid an initial amount of 250,000 pesos to Tuping and his group for the purchase of guns and motorcycles. Batocabe was a candidate for the Raga mayor in the 2019 polls, while Baldo is seeking re-election under the Lakas Christian Muslim Democrats Party. Double murder and frustrated murder charges have been filed against Baldo and his alleged cohorts in Albay. U.S. President Donald Trump meets top Democratic lawmakers but fails to hammer out an agreement that would end a partial government shutdown over his demand for billions of dollars to build a border wall with Mexico. Trump shows no signs of backing away from his insistence that Congress cough up $5.6 billion for his beautiful southern wall. Trump says he's prepared to hold out as long as it takes to secure the money he's seeking for the border wall. The U.S. president adds that it could be a long time before the government reopens. The standoff resulted in hundreds of thousands of federal employees out of work or working without a paycheck over the Christmas and New York holidays and for the foreseeable future until a deal is reached. The House Committee in Rules, chaired by Congressman Rolando Andaya, kicked off its probe into the alleged anomalies in the current 2018 and the proposed 2019 budget on Thursday, January 3. The lawyer of City Leoncio Construction and Trading's owner, Consolacion Leoncio, says they sealed their joint venture agreement, or JVA, with Aremar Construction without knowing that the latter had ties with Budget Secretary Benjamin Jocno. Lawyer Rafael Madrid says City Leoncio, the contractor that allegedly cornered billions of government projects nationwide, finalized their JVA with Aremar Construction for projects in Sorsogon in good faith. The biggest stockholder of Aremar Construction is Kasiguran Mayor Edwin Hamor, husband of of Sorsogon Vice Governor Esther Hamor. Esther Hamor's son from previous marriage, Romeo Sikat Jr., is the husband of Jokno's daughter. Miss Universe 2018 second runner-up Stephanie Gutierrez is getting attention after photos of her before and after apparent cosmetic enhancement went viral. Cosmetic surgeon Froilan Paez shares on Instagram the beauty queen's before and after look. Gutierrez's verified Instagram account is tagged in the post. She posts a message thanking the doctor. Gutierrez comments on the post and says, Thank you so much for your professional attention and excellent work. The best. See you soon. Streaming giant Netflix warns the public against doing the Bird Box Challenge. In a Twitter post, Netflix says, Can't believe I have to say this, but please do not hurt yourselves with this Bird Box Challenge. We don't know how this started and we appreciate the love, but boy and girl have just one wish for 2019 and it is that you'd not end up in the hospital due to memes. The Bird Box Challenge involves people going through both mundane and dangerous tasks while blindfolded. Bird Box, starring Sandra Bullock, is about an unknown deathly entity that has taken over a post-apocalyptic earth and drives people insane on sight. Bullock's character and two young children must survive a two-day journey through forests and rivers to find safety blindfolded.